We are trying to understand why you are still using these shelters. The surface has become habitable again. We are quite comfortable living in here. We send out scouting parties for food and supplies. We are quite happy living in here. Why go anywhere else? Really we are quite happy here. No need to go out to the surface. But don't you want to get out into the fresh air and sunshine? We like staying in the shelters. Thanks for coming again. My officers will explain what they found. Science Officer Lang first. Our team found that the biosphere is coming back really well. I don't see any reason why these people can't repopulate their planet. The team did find a curious creature, some kind of hominid, but it did not hang around very long. The people there said that they were content to stay in the fallout shelters we found they're living in. They don't want to leave. Would there be enough room in your opinion for everyone on the station to move to the shelters? No way captain. The shelters are packed. They are sending out scouting parties for food and water. Okay LaForge what did you find? The station is in imminent jeopardy of breaking up. It got too large. It orbits in a lower orbit than the planet does, and stresses from both the planet and the sun are threatening to tear it apart. They do have spacecraft that can be used to evacuate the station. Well we have all the information I need for my report. Is there anything else we can help you with before we leave? Wait Captain. Please don't go. We have no pilots for the ships. The reason that people are unwilling to leave the shelters is because of the hominids. They are vicious. Before the Holocaust, they lived in a heavy forest, and we rarely got near them. There was a status quo. Then the fires drove them out of their forest. They seem to be able to eat almost anything, including our flesh. They terrorized our people at the same time the planet was on fire. We can fly your ships. That won't be a problem, but we will have to find a way to protect you from these creatures. Have you tried communicating with them? Yes Captain. It was futile. My science team also tried to communicate with them without success. I want you to send your team back down there to learn more about these creatures. Mr. LaForge, I will need pilots for their ships. I want our people fully familiar by the time they evacuate. Also see what you can do to stabilize the station. We transported down to the surface of the planet, taking samples and looking for clues, anything, even scat, that could help us in understanding the creatures. We did not have long to wait. However, the information did not come the way we wanted. I would like to take these samples up to the ship. Go ahead, but hurry back. Security alert, transporter room 2. Unknown creature. They are both in a bad way. They were badly beaten. I need to speak to the transporter officer. Okay make it quick. I am trying to save him. Lieutenant, what happened? How did the creature get on board? I think it jumped into the transporter beam. It made no effort to communicate. It just attacked. Okay Lieutenant, cooperate with the doctor. Get well.
Whatever you are, halt. All right, we'll do this your way. It took out a couple of security guards before it met up with Worf. He beat it senseless. So what do you make of it? It's just as you see. It's ape-like and intelligent. Science Officer Lang, your opinion on the creature? It resembles a hominid on Earth known as Bigfoot that is still controversial today. Dr. Crusher, treat its wounds and have it transported down. I want that animal off my ship. This station is truly an engineering marvel. It beats all I ever saw. Let's explore a bit. Very simple, impulse drive. It should work out well, and of course the ship will help. That's assuming that the captain can figure out how to repatriate these people safely. Let's start checking out her systems. The captain wants these ships operational. Activating system. Force field barriers activated. Let's hope these barriers keep the hominids out. Over 3,000 miles of force field fencing in this installation alone. I just hope we have shoot away all of the creatures.
They are really nasty from what I have heard. Message from the ship. They are about to launch. Mr. Barkley, status report please. I know you are not used to the bridge, but we are short of people. I show green lights all across the board. All ships report ready for impulse drive. You are in charge of this operation, number one. Give the order when ready. Mr. Barkley, order all ships to launch in sequence and head for designated safe zones. According to Science Officer Lang, the creatures are slowly migrating back to the forest, which is their natural home. The barriers in time will no longer be needed. I think it will be quite a shock for all of them to move into these areas. Those from the shelters will be moving too. I hope they can stomach replicated food. It was a bittersweet homecoming for all involved. It was not long before fragments of the station began burning up in the atmosphere. The Venus dolls helped out with morale with a concert, even while pieces of the station streaked through the sky.